In this video, I will show you how you can create this manipulation. This is really easy to understand. I will also show you how I do color grading in Camera Raw Filter and a bit of a light changes in Camera Raw Filter itself. So stick around until the end. All right, let's start off with creating a new file by pressing Ctrl or Command N. And here I'm going to do white like this. The resolution doesn't matter when you work with pixels, so don't touch that and press OK. Now, first thing to do is to drag this in this file and make a smart object. If you press Ctrl Command T, you can bring up the free transform window and resize this to the size you want. So this is fine. I want to make something like this. And let's make the background black by pressing Ctrl or Command I to invert the color. So that's pretty easy. Now, next thing I would do here is to import these butterflies. Let's first do this. Just make like the selection, copy it with Ctrl Command C and put it in our file and put it here. Also make a smart object here. And let's transform this horizontal like that. I like the fact that this tiger is already like watching in front of it. So this is really good when you work with something like this. Let's make this smaller with a bit here like that. All right, now we can work on the lighting. Let's first make this dark. The butterfly first I will do is to make sure to press this, make this like darker. And after that, I can make another curve slayer and make this lighter like that. Now we don't want this lightness on the whole butterfly. So what I would do here is press on the mask of it and press Ctrl Command I to invert it. And with a white brush, you can just draw black brush. Sorry, you can draw areas light again like that. We can even make this lighter see like that and do the same for this one like that so now we have like some glow in the center of this butterfly but we want a little bit more below a glow so I'm gonna create a new layer select something from this bluish color bring it a bit to the left so it's almost white and just make a dot change the blend mode screen and we have a nice glow here now this glow looks really cheap, so what I would do here is to just create a clipping mask so it's inside this butterfly. You can even do overlay here. Let's do overlay. Just a little bit of glow inside. And now after that, you can just play with these sliders to if you do this, this middle area, bring it to down, you get a bit more contrast, which makes it better. Not so grayish like that. So this looks fine. Now, next thing I would do here is to get rid of these colors. So I'm going to press this and remove some of these colors. All right, now we can work on the tiger. So let's put this here. It's a nice glowing butterfly. Now, the lighting for the tiger. Make curves again and bring this all the way down. Let's say to the middle part. Now, brush some areas back again with the black brush. So, for instance, if we have this butterfly here, we want to make sure these areas are light enough. Let's also do this eyes light bit here. A bit of a brushing here, here, here. We can even do a little bit here also on these areas that are sticking out. But drop the opacity for these areas because we don't want them to be as light as this part because this is our light source here. And these parts are just a little bit far away, so don't do too much there, just a bit there, there. All right, this looks fine. Next thing to do is to create a new layer. Go to Edit Fill and fill it with 50% gray. Change the blend mode to overlay. And now we can use the Dodge tool to make things even lighter. So select the Dodge tool. Just let's do mid-tones here. Let's first do these eyes here. It here. Let's increase this and drop the exposure slightly here. I think it's too much now. Just a bit of a brushing here. Don't do it too much. Like that. 
I think this looks fine. Next thing I would do here is to create a new layer again and fill it with 50% gray again. And this I'm gonna do some burn tool to get this better. So first make this bigger and press some areas darker. So you wanna make sure these areas here are a bit darker than the areas on its face. Because we have a light source here and we don't have a light source around here. So make sure these are getting a bit darker than the original one. Do some mid-tones, just a bit of a brushing. Don't do it much. If you're gonna do it much, it's just gonna get ruined. Like, so if you compare this, this was before and this after, it looks a bit better now. All right, next thing I would do here is to drop the color of this tiger. I usually drop color of everything because when you drop colors of everything, this is the butterfly and the tiger. If you drop colors of everything, it's going to blend better together. At the end, you can increase the colors again when you have the final piece. So this looks fine to me. We can start filling this up with stuff around it. So what I usually do is to place some leaves and stuff like that around it. As you can see here, let's just copy this, delete it and paste it again. So we don't have that other one. So what I usually do here is First, I want to get rid of this white line around it. So if you hold down Ctrl or Command Mac and press on the layer, it makes this selection. Then go to Select, Modify, Contract. And here you want to select one pixel. So it goes one pixel inside this selection. Then press right mouse, select inverse and press delete on your keyboard. And that white line is, well, it's almost gone, but this is enough. So next thing I would do here is to convert this to a smart object and start placing all this stuff around it. But this is way too light for this image. This is almost at night, what we have now. So first thing we do is well, during the night, you won't see that much of bright colors. So first I would do is use situation here and drop this all the way down. Well, almost all the way, I think this is enough. And also do some curves to get rid of these highlights. This is way too light. And let's do a bit more contrast like that. So this looks a lot better already. Maybe like a bit like an S curve. This is fine. You can even give it a bit more like bluish color and drop this even more. I think I like it like this. All right, let's put this in one folder. And now I can start with creating depth with this. So what I usually do is I make this really big, put it like in front of it. And you can see here the quality is really bad, but it doesn't matter because we are going to blur this out to create depth. So with the Gaussian blur, I can just give it a bit of a blur to get that feeling that he is standing there. We have a focus on this tiger and not on these leaves in front of it. So I'm gonna place this one here. After that, I'm gonna select this folder and press Ctrl J or Command J on Mac and put some more leaves around it. So now we can create even more depth with these leaves around it. And you can place different stuff. It doesn't have to be leaves or something, but I like to place leaves because this is all nature, nature thing. So you can also place maybe a cave or something. All right, let's move these around. I feel like this part's a little bit too light for this. So I'm gonna drop this down. Let's duplicate this even more. Just make sure you don't see patterns here. So you can see here, these leaves are the same. So I won't place this one like here because this doesn't look real anymore. I'm gonna place some different leaves. So usually I just turn them around, maybe something like that. And that whole pattern is gone. You won't see the same thing. Anyway, so put it like maybe here. Let's do a bit more some here so I'll just copy these layers first make sure they blend well together after they put this all in a folder and just put them around this composition all right this is the foreground leaves now next thing i also want to have leaves around it at the same distance where he is so let's make another duplicated version and press this eye here to disable this gaussian blur because now i want leaves that are like sharp instead of blurred out. 
and these leaves I will place behind these blurred out leaves. So make sure you have this folder behind it and not in front of it. So you can see here that it looks better. Let's make this smaller, like there. So this is fine. You can even make it smaller. So I'm here, duplicate this. And again, I'm gonna place a bunch of leaves that are smaller than this one and at the same distance like this tiger and this butterfly. Right, let's flip this one. You can use a lot of different stuff. It doesn't have to be leaves. You can also use like flowers and stuff. But flowers is a little bit too bright, so I wanna have leaves for this one because they have that feeling that they are moody, like dark and moody. Just don't do it too much because if you do it too much, it's gonna look fake and you don't want it. Let's see, maybe a bit here. Let's do another one somewhere. I'm already feeling this gets the same. I mean, you can see like the same leaves everywhere. So it's also better to use different types of leaves, but I'm too lazy to search new leaves. Now I'm just gonna show it like this. All right, this is fine for now. I'm gonna move this up. I think we need a little bit more in front of it. All right, this looks fine to me. And now I can do some color grading. So for this, I would usually I go directly into, into Lightroom and I apply presets or whatever, or do some changes here. But lately I've been using camera raw filter. So what I would do now is to press Command or Control Mac on Windows Alt Shift E. So I have a duplicated version of everything. And now I will make a smart object. Let's make this black so I can see this better. And now I go to camera raw filter. And here I do some final adjustments to this. So usually I don't really touch this one and this one. I leave those as it is. I only play with these settings. So let's drop the exposure here. Let's bring up the contrast a bit the highlights a bit more. Let's do a bit more shadows. Whites, you don't want to do too much white because when you have too much white, it's, you won't see the details anymore. And let's drop the black. Now, if you drop the texture, it's gonna get a bit softer and add some clarity or else the quality looks bad, like that. All right, next thing to do is let's not touch this one let's add some luminance to this just a little bit all right this is the important part for me when i edit and change stuff in camera raw filter because the colors are so important to me lately and i'm always playing with these settings you can change the whole mood here to colors of this image so you can see here how it changes this looks a lot cooler when you make it like blue let's make it like that so I usually just drag this from left to right and see what changes. See here is tongue changes. Let's lift it like that. This is nothing. This is his fur color. We can increase that one a bit. This the yellow also is eyes fur. This is like the green tones from the leaves. I will get rid of that a bit. This is the butterfly, maybe a bit more. And this also the butterfly and this one let's see here we can change the color of the leaves again so this looks pretty cool let's give the butterfly a bit more blue like that all right going on from here some vignette and that's pretty much it so you can see this was how it looked like before and this is how it looks like now the thing you could do here is to just fill this whole thing up with a bunch of stuff around it so you could place these butterflies around this tiger you can place more plants or flowers or stuff like that so basically you have this whole composition ready now and the only thing you have to do is to just place them around it but make sure when you like place this butterfly here it's close to the camera make sure to give it some blur to create some depth 
that way you are getting this nice looking image and to make sure also drop the saturation of all these things so just play around with the composition add all this stuff and once you're done with the whole composition you can get the colors more popping out if you just add a vibrance adjustment layer on top of everything and increase this one and you can see here we get more colors in this whole image so that's pretty easy to understand so thanks for watching i hope this video helps you to create better things yourself if you want to see how to export in the best possible quality for instagram check out this video till then see you in the next one